A chemical reaction is a process that leads to the chemical transformation of one set of chemical substances to another. In the world, there is a lot of chemical reactions that we cannot cover in just three minutes. But in this video, we will talk about the two major chemical reactions that scientists work with. The first one is oxidation-reduction reaction, or we can call it commonly redox reaction. In a redox reaction, electrons move between atoms. A reduction is a gain of electron, and oxidation is a loss of electron. So we can say that atom A is oxidized, and atom B is reduced. And now, let's go for an experiment. This experiment is called the elephant toothpaste. In this experiment, we need a volumetric flask, dishwashing liquid, hydrogen peroxide, potassium iodide, hot water, and a cup. And after doing this, here we have the experiment done. What happened in this experiment is that when the hydrogen peroxide meets the potassium iodide, an intense release of the gas O2 happened. And when this intense release meets the dishwashing liquid, this foam appeared. The second type of the chemical reaction is acid-based reaction. An acid-based reaction is a process that is typified by the exchange of one or more hydrogen ions between species. And now, let's go for another experiment. This experiment is called the drape elevator. In this experiment, we need a graduated cylinder, sunflower oil, white vinegar, food coloring, sodium bicarbonate, two little caps, and a pipi plate. Vinegar is more intense than oil, so it goes down, and when it reaches the sodium bicarbonate, an acid-based reaction happens, and then the drops go up again, due to the release of CO2 gas. Chemical reactions are everywhere. Everything is composed of chemicals. The sun, the moon, the earth, our food, our medicines, and even our bodies. So that makes us wonder, to what extent can the chemistry go? Thank you for watching.